Nowhere in the world are more facial recognition systems in place than in China. The Chinese government started to install a huge surveillance network called Skynet. By 2020, around 600 million cameras will be set up. All in the name of public safety and order, of course. The Chinese police are already using data glasses to scan crowds for suspects. What sounds like science fiction is already reality here. But how well does facial recognition really work? How else is the technology being used? And what does the surveillance system mean for minorities? Let's take a look. One, two, three, four. Hardly anyone on China's streets goes unidentified. Surveillance cameras track people and recognize them in real time. They are part of the Chinese government's Skynet system. Wait a second. Skynet? That's the name of the artificial intelligence network in the Terminator franchise. More than 2,000 criminals are said to have been caught in two years. Criminals. Chinese authorities also include political dissidents in their definition. And all of this is possible because the facial recognition system is linked to the authorities' database. The facial recognition software Face++ from MacV is widely used in China, also by authorities. The software scans up to 1,000 facial key points and is even supposed to detect facial surgeries. According to MacVi, the recognition rate is 99%. It can also scan large groups or people that are masked. The camera system is connected to the biometric database of the authorities. That's all you need for a surveillance state 4.0. It's also unclear what happens to the data of innocent citizens. In addition to tracking down criminals, the technology is also being used in everyday life in China. And this appeals to many Chinese. The goal? Facial recognition should protect against fraud and make life easier. In some restaurants, you can already pay by face scan. Or you can shop in an automated supermarket. The software assigns the purchase to the recognized person. The invoice is digital. For many Chinese, camera surveillance in everyday life has both positive and negative effects. Sometimes I'm worried that my personal information has been leaked, but at other times it's very practical. You get used to it. The technology is also part of the controversial social credit system. A points system rewards Chinese citizens for good behavior and punishes them for bad behavior. For example, if you cross a red traffic light, you lose points. Your score can then determine whether you get a job or a loan, for example. The province of Hebei in China's north is an example of where this digital social control can lead. The Chinese messenger service WeChat has a feature that shows where people with unpaid debts are located. As a user, you can report someone who you think can pay their debts. For example, because you saw them going to an expensive shop or restaurant. Around 10 million Uyghurs live in China. Most of the Muslim minority are located in the west of the country. Using propaganda, surveillance and so-called re-education camps, the Chinese government tries to bring the Uyghurs into line with their party's ideas. According to a New York Times report, authorities also use facial recognition software to identify Uyghurs, based on typical facial features. That way, members of the minority can be monitored throughout the country. It's the first time that a government uses an AI system for racial profiling. Creepy. Critics like journalist and scientist David Bendersky have long suspected that China's ambition in the field of AI are linked to the regime's wish to monitor its own people. China's vision, at least, is of this kind of system where they're able to harness big data to spot potential problems in terms of social unrest before they arise. Um, and of course, fighting crime and all of that is, uh, is a part of that, but it's really much, much bigger. A controversial technology that can be used in many different ways. What do you think of facial recognition? Is it helpful or scary? Write us below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to get the latest tech news. See you next time.